Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download iMovie onto your mobile phone because it's free and that will allow you to easily edit your videos on the go. Whether it's for TikTok or for YouTube or for Instagram, yes, you can use iMovie and that will make it super simple. So go ahead and search for iMovie in your app store and click on download. All right, let's open it up. Let's create a new project. And to us, this is going to be a movie combining videos, photos, music. This is very similar, once again, uh, to the iMovie app on your desktop. So here I'm just going to randomly select some uh, images and right from my phone and click on Create Movie. So here, as you can see, it already added some transitions, slow transitions here and in between this. And if you click on the plus sign right here, you're able to add additional assets, you know, videos, photos, even backgrounds right here, different colors. So uh, that is really interesting. Um, and you're also able to add audios right from your music, right from your own library. But then again, if you're doing this for TikTok, you don't have to worry about it because you can choose freely use music right from TikTok. And uh, let's talk about how to add a certain segment. Number one is if you want to get rid of something completely, just click on the asset and then click delete. But if you want to shorten the assets, all you have to do is kind of drag the border, put your finger somewhere near where the yellow line is, the thicker yellow line is, and you can make it longer and shorter. And what's interesting is, as you can see at the top of the screen, it's telling you how long this piece of asset, whether it's an image or video is going to last for. So right there, if you want to move here and you want to slice it up or split it up, then you can just click on split. Now there are two segments of the video that you can edit further. And here you can further reduce from within a single video clip. I find it pretty easy to use, frankly. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, yet it, within TikTok's native app, it just won't allow me to kind of fine tune this and for me to easily re replay it. So I find it kind of annoying. Um, so as much as TikTok's native app, mobile app is a good idea, I often struggle with it a lot more than if I were just to use an actual um, video editing tool such as this. Anytime you want to reverse what you just did, you can just click on this undo button. And in the lower right hand corner, there's a gear button if you click on that. So wow, look at this comic filter right here. You can see that this entire clip is now like a comic book, which is really cool. As you can see, uh, when you choose the gear button, it actually applies to the entire clip. Assume everything's done. I'm going to click on this export button at the bottom and I'll save it either to my iMac, which I usually edit and post things from. But in this case, I'm just going to save the video to my mobile phone. Looks like exporting is going to take a moment. So right here, as you can see, I just saved it to my mobile phone. That is really cool. So everything's cartoon like, well, I can't just publish something like this to TikTok, but I want to fill up the whole screen. I want it to be 916. So what I will do is click on the edit button, upper right hand corner here. You're going to click on the edit button and you will click on the flip button, lower right hand corner, this box with the little flip sign. So click on that once. Now you're given all these things, right? You can, yes, you can rotate the video, but that's not what we're trying to do here. Upper right hand corner, there is an orientation button next to the three dots. So click on that. I can have original, free form, 16 by nine. So any orientation you select, uh, you'll have both the landscape and the portrait view. I know that's a little bit confusing. I didn't realize that for a while. So here we are. And just to make sure it's okay, I'm gonna click on done. And I'm just going to watch it real quick, but it will prepare the video for just a quick second before I can play the whole thing. And here I can fast forward. Oh, it looks so delicious. All right. If you're happy with the video, you can then just go ahead and publish this video right to TikTok the way that we've done in another video. If you don't want to go to the other video, click on the lower left hand corner export button and then simply find the TikTok app. Click on that. You'll prepare the video for just a few seconds and there you go. Share on TikTok. Now remember, TikTok loves when you use their music. So all you have to do is select music. Depending on the nature of the video, the music can be turned all the way up. But remember, if you have voiceover or if you want to add your voiceover, what you want to do is maybe lower the music down to 10% or something like that. So I hope you find this helpful. Thanks again for watching the series so much. 
Hey guys, I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Restream. For content creators like myself, since we don't have a large team, it's really important for us to create content very easily. After I go live using Restream onto all my social media platforms, I immediately download the assets and start repurposing it, maybe creating shorter clips such as videos for a TikTok. So can't wait to see in the future video. If you like it so far, please hit subscribe and better yet, share with one more friend and colleague. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.